Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about four answers to questions that introverts commonly give and the possible meaning behind these answers. As an introvert, I have given these answers many times and I can be misunderstood as a result. So I wanted to give you some meaning behind these answers. Number one, when you ask an introvert to do something or you ask an introvert for their thoughts on something, any pretty much any kind of question that may seem like a simple black and white question for you, if you're talking to an introvert, you're going to probably hear them say, give me some time to think about that or let me think about that and let you know. Now, for a lot of people, they can assume that this is just an excuse, that the person is just buying time or the person doesn't want to give an answer right away. But for introverts, it really is that we do need to think about our answer or to think about our decision. And we really, really need and want the time to be able to do that. What may seem like a simple question to you, we don't want to give just a simple answer or something on the top of our mind. We want to be able to really think into it before we give you an answer. Number two, let's say you run into an introvert or you have an introvert friend that you say, hey, what's been going on with you or how are things going? And you commonly will hear the introvert say, everything's fine. Not much is going on. Nothing's new. I'm okay. You're going to hear these comments like this commonly from introverts and sometimes it can be tempting to think oh my gosh they have such a boring life nothing is ever going on with them however for introverts we really kind of t take those questions as far as what's going on how are you what's new as small talk and most introverts aren't good at small talk and don't like small talk. So we consider those a small talk volley in our direction and we just give a small talk volley back with just this general answer. Now I do encourage introverts to plan ahead when they can and think about what is going on in my life that I can give an answer other than I'm fine or nothing's new because a lot of times People will ask us those questions and we want to be able to offer something back. Another reason why introverts will commonly answer that question this way is because we do tend to be more private and not sharing details of our life and everything that's going on with us. So sometimes it's not until we get to know you better that we feel more comfortable sharing the things that are going on in our life. Number three is when you ask the introvert to go do something or to spend some time with you and they answer you and say, I need some alone time or I kind of need to just recharge or I'd rather just stay home and chill. You're going to hear answers like these commonly from introverts. And the first thought can be that they don't want to spend time with you or they're tired of you. However, most commonly, it's because the introvert really does need this alone and recharge time. And the fact that they're letting you know that is really honesty. It's that external social stimulation that truly is exhausting. It's not just imaginary, it really is. And so they really do need that recharge time. The thing to remember is an introvert can be in a very happy and committed relationship. They can be living in the same house, married to someone, and they still are going to need some of their alone time from their significant other. And speaking of that, if you want to know how to build trust with an introvert in a relationship, I've got a video above and in the description below, so check that out. Number four, you will commonly hear introverts say, I'm fine or nothing is wrong because a lot of times people are asking them, is something wrong? Are you mad? Did something upset you because of the introvert's thinking face? Not every introvert has this, but a lot of us do. When we're thinking, we get an expression on our face that looks like we are irritated or mad or upset. And so does it mean, does it always mean that we're never upset? No, introverts get upset just like other people do. They get angry just like other people do. 
However, a lot of times people think that we're upset or angry or mad when we're not and we're just thinking. I have to be really intentional when I'm thinking to maintain that pleasant facial expression or else people will think that I'm mad. Do I succeed 100% of the time? No, but it is something that I've worked on over time because I don't want people to think that I'm mad when I'm really not. Now, are you an introvert and are you commonly giving some of these same answers? If so, please comment below so that we can all learn from each other. And if you know of someone in your life who's better trying to understand introverts, I hope that you'll share this video with them. Thanks for watching.